Yo, what's up, guys? It's Akira Coben. Welcome to the Border Man Transformation. And today we got the next video. We got the next drop. We coming every day, sing every single day. We coming. So today's video we got right now on the whiteboard: five signs you will be successful. These are the five signs right now that you gotta take. And and if you have these things in order, and these things in place, there is no way you're not gonna be successful. So these are the five signs right now that you're gonna be that you're gonna be successful. This determines if you're gonna be successful or not. Now let's go to number one real quick. You're solving, you're solving a problem. If you have a skill or you have a job or something or a business and that business is solving a problem or you have a skill that's solving a problem, for example, you're teaching out people how to lose weight, you're teaching people how to get in shape, you help somebody mentally, you're helping somebody do photography, pictures, whatever the case is, if you're doing something that is solving a problem, I guarantee you, you're going to be successful in that field or you're just going to be successful in life in general. Once you're solving a problem, that is the key to success. That is the ultimate key to success is to find something that you can solve a problem because that's what people need today. People need people who can solve problems. And this really is a tip that could really make you more attractive as well. If you're a problem solver, it just makes you 10 times more attractive. People just like people around them that solve problems. People that don't make excuses. If you're a type of guy that make excuses and you never try to solve a problem, people do not find people like you attractive. So one way to even level yourself and be more attractive is to become a problem solver. Literally. Girls determine if they want to date a dude based on how he can help them if they got a problem. Oh, babe, my, my tire got a flat. Can you come help me change my tire? Your babe, I got to get an oil change. Can you come um, give my car an oil change? Those simple things right there makes you the, that type of guy if you can solve problems. So that's the number one thing on the list is to learn how to solve problems or just be a problem solver. Or if you want to start a business, make sure before you get into the, like investing in that business, ask yourself this question. Is this business or is this profession solving a problem and if it's not solving a problem then people don't really need it because people just need people who can solve their problems literally that's what that's what life is about that's what business is about if you can solve a problem yeah that's the, you you in game right there you in game you literally in the game right now the second thing on this list you have to consistently be learning and that's why i tell people all the time bro reading every single day is is is, is one key for me 48 Laws of Power, this is just a book literally how to tell you how to improve and just know how to deal with people and just how to control in a sense. But it's not just, there's a lot of more books out here. But just in fact, just make sure every single day you're consistently learning. People that are always open to new ideas, new stuff, they just most likely to become more successful because they never stop learning. A lot of people, when they get older, they'll be like, okay, I'm growing now. I don't need to keep learning. And that's why you won't be successful because there's always something new coming out. There's always a new problem. So the more you learn, the more you're ready to equip if there's something that should happen. So you have to consistently be learning every single day. Or not just learning, but if you have a specific craft, you should always want to consistently be learning that craft, bettering that craft, and just improving yourself overall. If you're consistently learning... And as well, your stuff solves a problem. It just that's just the recipe. That's the ingredients for success. These right here are the five ingredients for success. If you have these things right here right now today, or you don't have them, you should start working on them. I guarantee you, you will be successful in this life. There is no doubt in it. There is no doubt. Consistently learning over every single day, you should at least read something new, gain some type of knowledge, talk to somebody new, reach out to somebody. This is what you need to do all the time, bro. If you do this right here, there's no way you can lose. There is no way you can lose. Number three on the board, you're not a feel, you're not afraid to feel. I feel like a lot of people today, the reason why you don't gain success is because you're so scared. What if it don't go right? What if I start and it don't happen the way I plan it to happen? That is life. Nothing goes right, bro. Nothing goes exactly the way you plan it to go. But you have to have the willpower to, you know what, I'm going to try it. Sometimes the success is not in the direction, it's in the redirection. So sometimes you start a business and it fails. But when you fail that business, you realize, okay, it's actually another route. I see something different. I know when times you get to the bottom, you, you, you was all the way to the top. You get down to the bottom, now you see life differently. So sometimes it's not always in the direction, but it's in the redirection. So if you understand, okay, I do not mind failing. I'm not going to give up. And the thing is, high-value men are the most failures in this world because they fail so many times. They try, they try, they try, and try until something works. A lot of you guys try once, and then you, you'd stop. Oh, life ain't for me. Being rich isn't for me. But that's not how it works. You have to keep trying. Stop being scared to try. Trying is the only way you figure out if you can actually do it or learn that skill. So, 
one of the most important things and it is not to be afraid to fail. Stop being scared to fail. Failure is not a big... Failure is what you learn. In school, when you took a test, right, and you did it, you got, you got a few things wrong. You go to your teacher, miss, how, what did I do wrong and how can I fix it to make sure I don't get this mistake again? That is life. You have to fail to learn. See, if you're not failing, it means you're not learning. If you're not learning, you're not improving. And let's just talk about improvement aspect. You cannot get improvement without movement. A lot of you guys want to change your life, want to better yourself, but you're not making any type of moves to better yourself. You're not reading, not gaining knowledge, you're not networking. You have to move. In order to improve, you have to move. Make some type of movement within your life. That's the most important thing. Now, let's go straight out to number four. This is one of the most important things I feel that a lot of people forget about. They be like, oh, I want to manifest a better life. I want to be rich. Da, 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 da. You write down all your plans, all your goals and everything, but you forget to take action. You have to be an action taker. You have to be willing to take risk. If you're able to take action and you're willing to take risk in life, you are going to be successful. Most successful people in life are risk takers and they take action. This is the problem with a lot of people. You guys study to gain knowledge. Real people study to take action. I study a skill. Okay, I study this skill. Now, let me take action on this skill. A lot of times, you find yourself just reading, just reading, just reading, just reading, just reading. Just reading. Oh, yeah, this is true. This is good knowledge. This is real knowledge. But you're not taking action on the knowledge that you read. You're not applying it to your life. A lot of times, you go on YouTube. Oh, how can I improve myself? You find 10 ways to improve yourself. But did you actually take those skills and actually apply it to your life? No, you're not an action taker. So if you want to become successful, you have to become an action taker. You have to be willing to take a risk. And risk don't always got to be something that's scary. It can just be something that's taking you out of your comfort zone. That can just be a simple risk. So you have to be able to take action, you know, and it's always important to know when to jump. And sometimes when it feels uncomfortable, that's the best time to jump. So right now, if it feels uncomfortable to start a new business, start it. If it feels uncomfortable to start social media, start it. Because when you feel uncomfortable, that's really when life changes for you. You get what I'm saying? So number four. Now we got number five. Five. Uh, what is this? Uh, create a routine. And a plan. A lot of people want to become successful, but you don't even know how to. You have never studied it. You don't have a routine for it. You did not create a plan. Like, what are the ways you become successful? You wake up every day. You just work, 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 work. Yeah, I'm going to be rich. But you still don't have a plan. You have to have a plan. You cannot just work, 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 and you're going to become successful. You have to invest. You have to put your money in different places to gild up. You know, when you sleep, you get making money. So you have to first create a routine. And as well, you have a have a plan. Like, what's the oh, what's the end goal? What is the ultimate plan? At the end of this month, I should make this amount of money. And how am I going to be able to make that amount of money this month? So every day, you should be working towards a routine and have a plan in your end. Like, I have an end goal. You have to have the plan. So these are literally the five things. If you have these five things in place right now, there is no way you're not going to be successful. There are no, there is no way. If you have something that solves the problem, right? If you have, if you're consistently learning every single day, gaining new knowledge in your specific field, in your craft. If you are not scared to fail, you're not scared to try something new, there's no way. Then you're an action taker. You take action on your, your, your craft, your skill, or whatever that you want to do. You are you are you have a routine, you have a plan that you're sticking to, and you're working on every single day. There is no way, specifically, you have a routine, you're staying consistent and disciplined towards your routine every single day. There's no way you can fail. There is no way you can fail. If you have a routine, you're staying consistent, you're disciplined, there's no way you can fail. So these right now are the five ingredients for success. If you follow these five tips, these tips right now, I guarantee you there is no way you, you cannot get gain ultimate success. Um, but yeah, it's a cute coping. Welcome to the Body Man Transformation. And we out. Peace.